Hello and welcome to the Different Strokes Exercise Programme. My name is John Graham, I'm the Clinical Director of Physiofunction, one of the UK's leading providers of independent outpatient stroke rehabilitation. I've worked with Different Strokes as an expert physiotherapy advisor for over 20 years. I've devised a classification system for this programme so that you can identify the level that matches your current abilities. Exercising at the correct level will allow you to benefit from exercising regularly at home whilst ensuring your safety at all times. I wish you every success with the programme. Before you begin any exercise programme or begin to follow any of the training recommendations, advice or other instructions, you should first consult your doctor and have a physical examination. The recommendations, advice and instructions provided by different strokes and the instructors leading these exercise sessions are in no way intended to replace or to be construed as medical advice. Build up slowly. Start with one to two sessions a week, gradually increase to three to five sessions a week. This is your level four session with Matt. Level four sessions are designed for people who can walk independently with a stick or a trekking pole indoors and outdoors over even surfaces. Hi everyone, this is Matt and welcome to level four. Session two, the session focus is cardio. We do not need any equipment for today's session, but please do take a moment to read through the notes and guidance that come attached to this workout. And we'll get ready with just a gentle warm up, progressing through to some continuous body workout. So here we go, gently stepping your body across side to side. Good, well done. So remember, you can hold on to chairs or have your walking aids or poles with you if you need support with any exercise that we do through the session. And now knees up. So we're on the spot, just alternate knees, lifting them up. Well done. Fantastic, and then kick those heels back behind you. So alternate legs, just gently raise the heels back. Good, and then just gently kick those legs out in front. So we'll turn it sides. Just softly kicking those legs out, well done. Fantastic, bring your feet apart and very softly just rotate across side to side. So nice gentle twist and rotation.
Brilliant. And then hands down to hands up. So hands down and then up. Just keep it going nice and steady. Good work, everyone. And then cross your arms over and out. Okay, well done. Pause there. Great work, everyone. Just grab yourselves a drink. And then we will start with our continuous cycle. So what we're going to do is we are going to perform uh, three minutes of continuous activity and then take a one minute pause. Okay, so we're keeping the exercise as continuous as possible. We're doing three minutes of continuous exercise. So we're going to focus on one specific exercise and in a few progressions as well for those of you that want to do so. And then we'll go on from there. Okay. Ready to go then. So the first one is going to be back to those side steps. Okay. So first minute at least, just nice gentle steps side to side. If you've got a bit more room, take a few steps to the side. Okay. So continue. With that, so just taking your gentle steps side to side. And working at a pace that is comfortable for you. Okay, what we're going to do for the second minute is drive the knee. So step, step, step and drive the knee. Step, step, step and drive the knee. Or if you're just doing one step side to side, step and drive, step and drive. That's good. So work in your lower body completely now. Step and drive the knee. That's good. Keep it going, everyone. Okay, one more of those. Good work, everyone. For the last minute, you can either go back to your side to side steps and try and put in a bit, put in a bit more pace, or you can put in a little skip to the sides if you're able to do so. Well done, Keith, up the hard work. Great work, everybody. 30 more seconds. Fifteen to go, well done. And time there, relax and pause. Well done everyone, catch your breath 
have our one minute recovery to get your breath back before we continue with our next exercise which again is going to be a three minute block of progressive exercises you can just stay with the first exercise we do if you wish and then revisit the program later to maybe progress on just make it achievable for yourself and doing the best you can doing really well so far okay so we're gonna get our arms involved for this one and doing some punching exercises your stance can be feet square or one foot in front of the other it's up to you and then hands up towards your chest and alternate arms just punching forwards let's go that's it so just nice control tempo you don't want to give it a hundred percent because it's three minutes it's a long time to give it a hundred percent but you're going at a good tempo pushing both arms out keep it going everybody Okay, five seconds, we're going to switch to a rotate and punch, a twist and punch the arms across. Let's go. That's good. So you, as you're rotating, you can move your eyes and follow your hands as they punch. Or if that makes you feel like it's a bit of a dizzy feeling, just keep looking forwards and then let the shoulders and arms keep twisting and punching across with this one again you could do it feet square or one foot in front of the other Okay, three, two, one. We're going to combine those together now. So punch forwards four times and then punch the sides four times. Let's go. One, two, three, four forwards and one, two, three, four to the side. One, two, three, forwards. One, two, three, four to the side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, let's go. 30 more seconds, everyone. Good work. Keep that going. Last 10. Here we go. And time, take a rest there. Very good. Well done, everybody. Catch your breath again. One minute of recovery. And then we're going to do some steps. So when you take your recovery, it's up to you, however, you best feel you recover it may be to stand still and lean on something or take a sit down or as I do if you notice on screen is just to gently move so an active movement recovery so you're just breathing and still moving whatever works for you again is the best thing to do just try not to curl over and lean over Try and keep your body up nice and tall for the whole session. Okay, on to our steps then. So we're just going to start with step forwards, step back, 
So one step forwards, one step back. And unlike the mobility way we did this in your first session, with this session, we're just going to continue with the same leg stepping forwards or backwards. And that will be the leg you're most comfortable with and obviously fastest with as well, just for the benefit of cardio exercise. So great, keep that going. Okay, onto a progression, we're going to step and then lift the knee and step back. Step, lift the knee, step back. So we can keep going on the same side for that. So left leg step, right leg, knee lift. Left leg step, right leg, knee lift. That's good, we will swap that one at 30 seconds. Good, swap to the other side, right leg step, left leg, knee lift, or vice versa. Okay, good. And then we're going to take a few steps forwards and two options. You can either turn around on the spot and walk back the other way, or if you're comfortable to do so, take a few steps forwards and then a few backward steps. So a few steps forwards and then a few back. So again, work with what you're comfortable with. That will keep your body safe and moving effectively. Hold down, keep it going. 15 more seconds. Last one. And take your rest again. Fantastic. Really good, everybody. Well done. There's a minute rest again. working hard so keep it going well done just take this moment to catch your breath make your muscles recover as well because although we are working cardio it's very challenging for your muscles so it's nice to have that moment of recovery much needed recovery before going again Okay, we're going to combine arms and legs for the next one. Okay, so starting in five seconds, we're going to do alternate knees up while punching our arms forwards. So left knee, right arm, right knee, left arm. Away you go. If it's too hard to coordinate, it doesn't matter. You can go at the same arm. Or the arms can do what they like as the legs do what they like. That doesn't matter. As long as we're moving our full body, that's cardio. Arms and legs going together, so keep going. Knees up while punching. Okay, good, now kick the legs forwards. 
Let's get that bit going first. Good. Now as the legs are kicking forwards, both arms and punch up. So legs forwards and arms up. You can do that single arm if you wish or both arms together. So both arms up, alternate legs. They're kicking. Okay, good, and then kick the heels back. And as the legs are going back, bring the arms across and out, across and out. Well done, everyone, keep it going. Heart rate's going now, we're working hard. Final 10 seconds. And time. Brilliant, well done. Take that minute rest again, well deserved. And the next one we're going to do, we're going to do some stepping on the spot, progressing to jogging on the spot. So if you do need a chair or your walking aids or poles for this one, just to help you keep your balance, then please have those at the ready. Okay, so we're focusing on low knees, but quick steps. Okay, so knees are quite low, opposed to what we did earlier with the high knees. So keep the knees low and just take in lots of steps. Good, keep it going, really gets the back of the legs working hard, this one, the calves. Okay, what we're going to do for the second minute is just relax your body a bit more, but go from one foot to the other. So we're doing it a bit slower actually than what we just did, but we're putting a bit more weight down on the feet. So it is like a slow jog now where you're just going from one foot to the other, but we're not up to full throttle yet. So just one foot to the other. You can of course stick with the first exercise, that's why these progressions are here that you can add them in as and when it's suitable for you. Okay, and um, for those of you willing for the last minute, 
just try and pick that speed up now to a jog on the spot. So lift the knees just a little bit higher. And we put good weight down on the feet as we're on the spot. Good, you may drift around your floor space a bit, which is fine. 30 more seconds, you've got this, keep it going. And time well done. Take your minute rest. We'll do one more exercise. Fantastic work. Catch your breath. Breathe it in. Be ready for the last one. And then after this last set, you can go through your cooling down, any stretching you want to do, relaxation. or going to eat food, whatever you like to do after exercise, it's yours in three minutes time. So the first exercise we're going to do on our last set is just some very gentle half squats. So we're just going to bend the knees and come up again. So gentle bend, down and up. Away we go. So down and up, those legs are very warm by now, so it's fine to do this nice and bouncy. Good, 30 more seconds. Okay, good. Bring your hands down to your knees and then up. So keep your body up tall, hands down, hands up. Let's go. So working at a good tempo, hands together if you need to. That's it, keep it going. Five more seconds. And three, two, one, let's do both together. So bend the knees and raise the arms. Half squat still, we're not going all the way to the floor. Bend the knees, hands to knees, and then raise your arms up. Both together again if you need to do that. Well done everyone, keep it going. Last 30 seconds, let's go everyone. And time, okay, well done. 
catch your breath again everyone well done just gentle breathing before you start any cool down stretching or anything you're going to do but fantastic great cardio session today well done thanks for following along and remember you can always revisit these sessions as well as you progress as well revisit the sessions and see what's changed see how you're progressing do it again and again okay well done everyone so really good workout and i look forward to seeing you for session three where we're going to turn our focus to some strength so for session three you will need dumbbells or any weighted object for that session so these could be, even be cans from the cupboard resistance bands um, wrist or ankle weights that you can use okay so i look forward to seeing you then bye